good afternoon. <laughs> From whom is your letter? My sister. You got up eventually. That's a good sign. My mistress rises every day at six. Bloody hell. I wish to make your happiness the first object in life. Please tell me what you expect of me and I'll try. I only want a woman to laugh. I don't care what she is besides. I could make Augusta laugh at anything. I dare say I might laugh if you said something funny. Well then, climb that ledge. I'll race you. What? To the top there. One, two, three, go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> reading the Bible. Yes, but it will do no good. You have married a fallen angel. I think that is what Mr. Hobhouse calls an affectation. Do you? Well, proselytize then. Come along. Sit down and convert me. You may find it a problem. I'm an accomplished solver of problems. Then you reckon you can solve me with your fraction of theology? I warm to the challenge. Alas, my dear, I already have a great mind to believe in Christianity. As I thought. Merely for the pleasure of fancying myself damned. You've seen my mark. You know how wicked I am. You were born with a minor deformity. Nothing more. You are not wicked. Oh, I am a villain, Belle. I could convince you of it in three words. Your head should have a softer pillow than my heart. I wonder which will break first. Yours or mine. Why are you so miserable, Bee? Annabella, you are good to me. I could not have hoped for a fonder wife. I'll do anything for you. Would you? Name it. I'll do it. Take me to visit your sister. That's what I should like. It's a devil of a long way to Newmarket, Belle. That's what I should like. <laughs> Oh, 
bad feeling in my water, Miss Rude. Reasons for a drink? Augusta, my wife. Lady Byron. Mrs. Lee, I've heard so much about you. Uh, I, I trust you had a wonderful honeymoon. The treacle moon? <laughs> well, we waded through it, didn't we, Belle? And uh, this is Medora. She's lovely. Medora? The girl in the Corsair? Definitely a Byron, isn't she? B has promised he will not go out so much as he was used to. We shall stay home and read. Now oh, we are great looking forward to a quiet life in Piccadilly, aren't we? I intend to start him on Locke's reasonableness of Christianity. Let him try arguing with that. I wonder how the fashions go this season. Are the women wearing drawers or are they not? That is the question. To bear ass or not to bear ass. He's a rotten tease, isn't he, sis? Will you take up drawers, Belle? Augusta has. You'll save that kind of talk for your club if you don't mind. I don't know where you get these ideas. I get them from the month we spent at Newstead, in the snow. I've never been to Newstead. No, and you never will, because I'm forced to sell it. If you hadn't been so profligate, you wouldn't have to. Well, you are the chief architect of my fate. Fate that can only be described as benevolent. You have married felicitously, George. I should not have married at all. Well, I'm tired. I think I shall go to bed. Are you coming? Indeed, the old fool fancies himself a poet and composes Durham doggerel in my honour, while her mother, who could crack walnuts with her buttocks and weeps tears of glass, is as genteel a trollop as one might wish to meet. You are vile. Oh, it was a jolly charade. How long, I wonder, can I go on playing my part now that I have you? No. Gus. No. Your wife is under my roof. <gasps> what are you doing? It's perfectly normal. Don't you like it? Have you heard from Seal? How is your papa? His gout is troubling him. Tiresome gout, but rarely fatal. You do sing out at the first sign of terminal illness, though, won't you? <laughs> I find completely perplexed in this extraordinary solicitude as to my prospects of fortune. You have wealth of your own. My dear, I cannot sell Newstead. I have nothing but debt. I will not let something as dull as debt cause doubts and risks between us. I'm very loyal, you know. Oh, God. Will you please stop this blaspheming? Your master seems vaporish. Oh, he's a decent sort, eh? There's something about this Marion that don't agree with him. Married yourself, are you? Me? Widower. Sorry to hear it. <laughs> 